All right, this is Roger with iGadget Geek, and I'm going to do a video comparison between the two LTE phones on AT&T. That would be the HTC Vivid 4G LTE and the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket 4G LTE. But let's go ahead and start with a little kind of a visual comparison between the white and black version of the Vivid. As you can see here, I have both the black and white version. As you can see here, the white version has a silver back where the black has a black back. And of course, you know, a difference between the white and black. Where you have the white, a continual front white display. And the, this is all black. One of the things I do like about the white version is, is it does stand out. It's one of the... In fact, I think it's the only AT&T phone that's Android that you can purchase in white. Um, I may be mistaken on that, but to my knowledge, it's the only all-white phone on AT&T that runs Android. But let's go ahead and move off from that to the actual comparison between the two phones. All right, let's start with a little bit of comparison between the hardware. All right, we have the Samsung Galaxy S2 Skyrocket. So you can see it's on this side here. It has the 4.5 inch Super AMOLED Plus display with a resolution of 480 by 800 pixels with a 207 pixels per square inch. Now the Vivid has a QHD display Super LCD at 540 pixels by 960 at 4.5 inches with a 245 pixels per square inch. Uh, now as far as the processors are concerned, the Skyrocket has a 1.5 GHz dual core processor with 1 GB of RAM. The Vivid has a 1.2 GHz dual core processor with 1 GB of RAM. They both have 8 megapixel rear cameras. The Skyrocket has a single LED flash. The Vivid has a dual LED flash. Now on the front forward facing camera, they both have one. The Vivid is 1.3 megapixel. The Skyrocket is 2 megapixel. The Samsung is running 2.3.5 gingerbread with TouchWiz overlay. The Vivid is running 2.3.4 with Sense 3.0 overlay. Now the Vivid also has an FM radio. It has a 650 milliamp hour battery. The Skyrocket has an 860 milliamp hour battery. Now the Skyrocket will shoot video at 1080p at 30 frames a second. The Vivid will shoot 1080p video at 60 frames a second. So that kind of gives you a rundown of some of the specs. So let's go ahead and take a look here. I'm going to reposition my camera and get a little bit closer look on the display so we can give you some walkthrough of the actual differences between the software. Okay, here we go. We'll go ahead and do these lock screens here so you can get kind of an idea of the differences. So you can see here, I have the weather set up on the lock screen here. So we'll go ahead and unlock both of these devices. Take us both to the home pages. So you can see the Vivid is running the Sense 3.0. And this is the TouchWiz. Most people are familiar with it is the newer version of TouchWiz. Now one of the things you'll notice right off the bat is the difference in brightness. I put the same wallpaper on both of these phones to kind of give you an idea of the difference in display. Now what I've done with both of these, I've gone into settings, I've gone into the display on both of them, and I've set the brightness to auto. So you can see here they both are set on auto brightness. Now what I'm going to do is actually take auto brightness off and put them both at their highest brightness settings so we can get a, a comparison there of the difference. Now, I'm not real sure why. I think they've the way Samsung has done something on their proximity sensor as far as their light, it always seems darker on its auto setting and it makes the display seem very dark. And as you can see here, both of them with them both on their max brightness, they both of the displays look very good and the phones are both very fast and responsive as far as touches are concerned. But there again, if you go back in here and put them both on the automatic brightness display, I'll turn auto on. 
and we'll do turn them both down all the way and then turn auto on both of them and click OK and we'll go back to the home so you can see there the Samsung gets darker I'm not sure if the sensor is more sensitive or what's going on there but from a day-to-day -day use the Vivid always seems a lot more bright now of course you do have quite a bit higher pixel density per square inch for the same size screen so that does help uh, would have been nice to see on the Skyrocket maybe a little bit higher resolution screen would kind of help off offset that but they're both excellent phones what I'm going to do now is go ahead and power both of them down and we'll kick them on from a reboot so we can get kind of an idea of how long each of them take to power on from totally off because I know there's a lot of comparisons out there of people wanting to know about these two phones because if you're getting an LTE phone on AT&T it's going to be one of the two of these okay they've both shut down and I'm going to reposition this the power buttons here and there and I'm going to try to do this at the same time to the best that I can okay they've both turned on and we'll give it here and see which one finishes the boot cycle first Okay, it looks like the Vivid is pretty much up and running now. We still have the media scan running on the Skyrocket, so we'll give it just a moment to let it finish. Okay, they're both up, so let's go ahead and unlock both of these. Now one of the things I want to do on both of these is I'm going to go ahead and pull up the quadrants. I'm going to go ahead and run that on both of these. All right, let's go ahead and launch the quadrant on both of these. And I'm going to go ahead and try to hit these both at the exact same time. And they're off. So it appears that the Skyrocket is a little bit faster. Of course, it should be. Its processor is a little bit bigger than the Vivid. alright let's see we have got a 24 2452 on the skyrocket and a 1869 on the vivid so I'm gonna do these you know benchmarks are so different you will get a different score every single time and it can vary several hundred points um, personally I don't much care for this those scores for me, what's more important is the usability of the phone. How does it feel on a day-to-day -day basis using all the different software? But I went ahead and run these again, and we'll see if the scores change. I like to do them about three times. It kind of gives you an idea of the average. And as you can see, this time the Vivid is a lot faster, uh, but the, the Skyrocket still is taking a bit of a lead here. Now both of these are stock, neither one of them has been changed and there's only been a couple programs installed. Pretty much all the programs that are on them out of the box. So as you can see here, now we have on the Vivid 2175 and a 2320 on the Skyrocket. So as you can see it went down a couple hundred points and it went up several hundred points. So we'll do it one more time.
as you can see there again the skyrocket is just a bit faster they're both though right around the same frames per second Okay, so there you can see. Again, we're at about 2,023, so they're very close. Now, both of these are on my Wi Fi network at home, so we'll go ahead and run a speed test on both of these. It looks like I need to install the speed test on the Skyrocket, so we'll go ahead and go in here to the market. and get that installed here real quick okay that's installed so we'll go ahead here and we'll run a speed test on both of these now these are on my Wi-Fi this is not the wireless this is through my Wi-Fi at home so these two should be pretty much identical on speed we're going to go ahead and begin the test. Okay, we'll run it a second time. Okay, and one more. Alright, let's go to results. Let me go ahead and close get these a little closer for you. So as you can see there, they're pretty much really, really close. Some tests the Skyrocket was faster and some tests the Vivid was faster. So what I'm gonna do now, let's go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi and we'll actually use the 4G connection. Now I do not have 4G LTE, but I do have the HPCA Plus in my area so we will go ahead and run those tests again
Now I'm going to back out, completely close the app, and then completely restart it. Because for some reason, the Skyrocket was locking onto a city about two states away. So I'm not real sure why, but let's run them again. Now both of them are at Little Rock now. Let's take a look at the results here. As you can see here on Wi-Fi, on Wi-Fi, and then there's the 3G or the actual 4G here, which is the HSPCA Plus. It gives you your download and your upload speeds on the Skyrocket. And now we'll take a look at the Vivid. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to the home screen on both of these. Now both of these phones do give you, of course, multiple widgets and multiple home screens. And they do do a complete loop around on both of them. One of the major fundamental differences in the home screens, of course, is Sense and TouchWiz. But on the Skyrocket, you have a scrolling wallpaper where on the Vivid, it is the wallpaper is static. It does not scroll. So that's just kind of give you some of the differences between the two phones. Hope that'll help you to make a decision. And this has been Roger with iGadget Geek.